uh, you probably got a gem of a performance. Daily Social Live coming up a few seconds. Stay tuned. watching QPTV Daily Social Live, QPTV.org's live daily show. I'm your host for today, James. You see, you could contact us, contact me if you want to at QPTV.org right there. Let's get started. We have our COVID-19 update for today. We want to remind you that the MTA has launched a feature on its live subway map that allow customers to easily find the locations of COVID-19 vaccination sites. Riders accessing the map, which launched in a beta phase last year, will now see which subway stations are located closest to vaccination sites. Tapping the new vaccine icon at the bottom on right of the screen, unveils the location of the vaccine centers and clicking on a specific vaccine site provides accurate information about the type of vaccine provided at the center, restrictions on who is eligible, cost, and a link to schedule an appointment. This is a very, this is a pretty cool tool, actually. Let's take a look at this map a little closer. We have Queens here, of course, in the center. And you can see you have the different subway, subway lines here and beyond giving you updates on that, on service, it has the vaccine sites listed and it tells you the type of vaccine, who's eligible, whether or not you're in a, an appointment, the cost, and of course the address, phone number and a link to schedule the appointment if needed. So you can go check that out. Map.mta.info will have that in a series of links coming up this week. We want to make it easier for you to have access. We'll have a bunch of updates later on this week. We'll be right back.
tonight you don't want to miss on QP TV Live, on our channels, and on the website, Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz is hosting a scam awareness and fraud protection webinar. And again, that'll be tonight, 6 p.m. on Spectrum 79 or 1998, RCN 83, and Verizon Files 35. You can join the panel of legal experts, tax advocates, and consumer protection advisors for a scam awareness and fraud protection seminar. Learn how to avoid scams, access free resources, and report fraud and scam related crimes. They want to give a special advance. Thank you to their co-sponsors, Asian Americans for Equality, the IRS, NYC Department for the Aging, New York City Department of Finance, QPTV, and Queens Defenders. QPTV Radio is on the air. Providing community-centered programming from Queens Public Television in New York City. QPTV Radio offers an interesting and eclectic mix of unique content. From QPTV's original podcasts to audio versions of our award-winning television programs. Listen to QPTV Radio at qptv.org or download the Live 365 app on your mobile device. And you can listen to QPTV Radio on the go. The CDC has issued this first set of guidelines on how fully vaccinated people can visit safely with others. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a release here from the CDC. The new guidance, which is based on the latest science, stations for how and when a fully vaccinated individual can visit with other people who are fully vaccinated and with other people who are not vaccinated represents the first step toward returning to everyday activities in our communities. CDC will update these recommendations as more people are vaccinated. Rates of COVID-19 in the community change and additional scientific evidence becomes available. Let me skip ahead. I want to see if we could find exactly, I want to see that list of what their specific guidance The CDC recommends that fully vaccinated people can continue to take these COVID-19 precautions when in public, when visiting with unvaccinated people from multiple other households, and when around unvaccinated people who are at high risk of getting severely ill from COVID-19. Wear a well-fitted mask. Stay at least six feet from six feet from people who you do not live with. Avoid medium and large size in-person gatherings. Get tested if experienced COVID-19 symptoms. Follow guidance issued by individuals empl individual employers. Follow CDC and health department travel requirements and recommendations. If you want to know more about that, go to cdc.gov. You can go to qptv.org slash coronavirus for our full portal on COVID-19. And as, all, as usual, you could find us on social media. Of course, it's Daily Social Live. How else could we do it? And we want to make it easy for you to find us. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And this is, you can watch us live on these social media outlets. But if you want to connect with us in a different way, we have LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. Shoot us a message. And then if you want to, Type out a true uh, digital letter. You can send us an email, media at qptv.org. Send us your questions, concerns. It's about QPTV. It's about this show. It's, it's about the program coming on tonight from District Attorney Katz. If it's about any of the live programs, any of the QPTV, QPTV original productions, or you're really curious about becoming a producer, giving us your shows, we'd be happy to do it. Email us and we'll get you started on that process. 
And of course, watch us on the TV. Television. There's still nothing like it. And the fact that you get to join us on QPTV by becoming a producer is amazing. Go to QPTV.org slash create to find out. And if you want some inspiration, turn on your TV and turn to any of those channels. Watching Spectrum, RCN or Files, there's the lineup. And if you ever need to reference it, again, go back to QPTV.org for that information. There's some more social, daily social live from QPTV. Last week's Queen's Conversations, I've been saying it ever since we sh it aired. It's some of my favorite stuff. The historical information, photos, old film, if you have it. People's stories, the history of the place we live. It's amazing. Well, Queen's Conversations talked to a couple of uh, very knowledgeable people on the subject as they are from the Queen's Historical Society. And if you don't know about Queen's Conversations, Queen's Conversations is a live talk show featuring QPTV's award-winning production and hosting team, Lucia, Noran, and John Collins, having discussions with a diverse spectrum of Queen's residents and leaders. Every topic they discuss is incredibly relevant and it's always enlightening. Let's take a look at a little bit of their show from last week. You are in this very unique corner of different historical places. Um, and um, yeah, we've been, since 1968, we've been in a landmark historic house called Kingsland Homestead, and we've presented various things. And our mission essentially is to document the constant changes in uh, the Queens County and our wonderfully multicultural borough. And we offer programs, whether they are lectures, tours, um, film screenings. Now, in the, that was in the before times and the today times uh, during COVID, everything is virtual. So we're accessible um, for free for all of our audiences in Queens and beyond. And uh, we explore the diversity of the borough uh, through, again, exhibitions and various education programs. Great, Jason. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Lucia. So I'm Jason Antos. I'm the uh, uh, president of the board of directors of Queens Historical Society. Um, I've been studying the history of Queens now for about 20 years. I've, uh, in that time, published about seven books on the history of specific neighborhoods throughout the borough. And um, Last year in the fall, I had the, the honor of being named uh, board president of Queens Historical, who I had been dealing with for the majority of, of those 20 years, researching the amazing history of Queens. And currently, I had the further honor. You see, these people are incredibly knowledgeable on this stuff. And it really takes a incredible interest and dedication to involve your life in history, something that has happened in the past. And obviously, we know history is important and we need to learn from it, but so much of what is going on today is not even about the present, but the future. So it's always interesting to see uh, these kind of stories. Let's continue. Uh, Co-curating a wonderful exhibit on the uh, photographic uh, career of Percy Loomis Spear and Frederick J. Weber, who we'll talk about a little bit later and how they chronicled uh, the development of Queens uh, well over a hundred years ago. Great. John? Oh, Jason, I have one thing to tell you. I started watching the video of your exhibition of the photographs and I had to stop it halfway through because I had to become a member immediately. <laughs> and I signed on and I joined the Historical Society. I thought it was a fascinating piece of work. I really enjoyed it. Um, where did you get all this information? What's the, what first interested you in, in this historical aspect of Queens? I, you know, I've, I've lived here my entire life. 
I've been here 40 years. Uh, my family has lived here in Queens since 1961. And my family, <coughs> excuse me, overall has lived in New York City since 1913. Uh, growing up here in Whitestone as a kid in the 80s, there were many uh, homes around the block where I live in the northern tip of Whitestone that were essentially abandoned. And these were the old homesteads and mansions of people who had lived here well over 100 years ago. And they were just there. You know? The amazing stuff. You got to watch this episode. Queens Conversations. Queens Then and Now. On qptv.org slash qc. Go to qptv.org right now. If you're not here already. And check out everything we got going on. Because it's updated constantly. On a daily basis. You don't want to miss what we're doing. qptv.org. If you want to see this wonderful episode and all the episodes that are wonderful of Queens Conversations, go to qptv.org slash qc. We will be back. Watch Queen's Perspectives Spotlight as host Rosalind Nieves speaks with State Senator John Liu and Councilman Peter Ku about recent violent attacks on Asian Americans. Tuesday, March 9th at 7 p.m. and Friday, March 12th at 9 p.m. Spectrum Channels 34 and 1995, RCN Channel 82, and Verizon Channel 34. Only on Queen's Public Television. I want to remind you again that this is QPTV Daily Social Live, and the social part is easy. Oh, that's not where we want to be. 
<laughs> we want to take you to this where you can check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. You can watch us live and look at old, older videos. I won't say old, but you can see what we've done. Check it out. You can also find us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. If that's your preferred means of social. And if you prefer to write lengthy poems, you can email us media at qptv.org. Questions, comments, please send them. And the channels are on Spectrum, RCN, and Verizon Files, QPTV1, 1995 and 34, on Spectrum, 82 and RCN, 34 on Files, on QPTV2 for 1998. 79 spectrum 83 and rcn 35 on files 1996 and 56 this is qptv3 on spectrum QPT qptv3 is 84 and rcn and that channel is 36 on files qptv4 is 1997 on spectrum 85 on rcn and 37 on verizon files you could find all this information and more on qptv.org in case you get lost daily social let's see what we have for today's daily social segment what's going on out there in the world of social media let's see the fdny is reminding new yorkers to change batteries on smoke and carbon monoxide alarms when you change your clocks for daylight savings which we'll talk about in a second but as you can see, with good reason, too many incidents happen, especially around the winter, with fires and carbon monoxide incidents. Please check your detectors. Let's take a look at what else is going on. Ah. New York's Park Department, New York City Parks Department at NYC Parks is reminding us this beautiful video. But spring is just 10 days away. Look at the blossoms. It's also time for allergy season. So you take the good and you take the bad. Today's another beautiful day, by the way. And then also... Here's interesting. Here's big news. I know I this is one of my favorite libraries. New York City will be opening a new COVID-19 vaccination site at Flushing Library. Flushing's last day of public service will be Thursday, March 11th, tomorrow, from noon to 7 p.m. Thank you for your patience and understanding. They have a link to, I guess, it's probably their uh, news release. And there it is. New York City will be at the same message, basically. Library services will be unavailable at this location while the library serves the city in this new role. So while well, you will not be able to retrieve books from the Flushing Library, it's serving another very important purpose in keeping people safe and hopefully informed at the same time, it being a library. And that is today's Daily from the Daily Social Live web show. Let's see. We'll be back. This is a wonderful thing that we're doing. Anybody, you don't have to be a Queens resident, we provide QP TV with programs. Just prove your identity with uh, ID and two proofs of residency, and we'll accept your program. And we can't stress how much 
we are here for the not-for-profit community of Queens. If you're a not-for-profit organization, please send us your public service announcements. You can also produce them with us. You can produce one remotely, or you could even discuss your organization right here on Daily Social Live. Go to qptv.org slash community. And to watch public service announcements, go to qptv.org slash PSA. And that's it for today's show. It varies in length, obviously, but we've got a lot going on today. We don't want to spend too much time while we're getting ready for tonight's show, which if I think remember correctly, that was in segment one. Yes. Coming up at 6 p.m., watch live on Spectrum 79 or 1998, RCN 83 and Fios 35, and also on QPTV.org. So it means you can watch this from anywhere. 6 p.m. right here. You don't want to miss it because this is incredibly valuable, valuable information. And it's a wonderful thing that we get to bring it to you. And that's that. So thanks again for tuning in to Daily Social Live from QPTV. We'll be back again tomorrow with more on what you should know from Queens Public Television because we can't do this without you. In fact, we're here for you. We want you to become part of our in real life social network. Go to qptv.org to find out how to watch, learn, and create with QPTV. Tell your friends about us, share and subscribe, stay safe, and be well.